on this episode of Baking with Mandy, sourdough. Today and tomorrow, because it's a two-day process, actually more than that, if you start from the beginning, we're gonna make some sourdough bread. I have my sourdough starter, which I started, when did I start the sourdough starter? During the pandemic, like everyone else. It's still the pandemic. Uh, yes, you couldn't get yeast anywhere, so I started my own sourdough culture probably in like 2020, early to mid 2020. And here it is, still alive and well. So to start, Doug's snoring. Yeah, first step, make sure the dog is snoring. You guys hear that? He peeps you. Hi, buddy. First step, room temperature water. Second step, sourdough starter. Mix them together. You're supposed to whisk them together, but I don't think we brought a whisk, so I'm gonna fork it. See how the starter is floating? That means it's a mature starter. So now this is all forked together nice and nice. What are you looking at me for? I don't know, I feel like you're gonna say something. Very nice. The next step is to mix the flour with the salt. I'm out of mixing bowls. So we have a rectangle, the flour. We also don't have any regular salt, so we're mixing it up with mixed up salt. So now I've got the salt in with the flour and I'm going to whisk those together. Next, you slowly add the flour mixture into the water mixture and stir it all together. So then you mix it up with the big wooden spoon until you get this like shaggy ball. And then you cover it and let it sit overnight for at least 12 hours. So tomorrow we'll start part two. Welcome back to day two of Baking with Mandy. Today is going to be the actual bread baking day. I moved the sourdough to a different container overnight because I wasn't sure that the glass dish was large enough. So here we have it, and now I have to roll it out and then let it rise a little bit and then we'll do the baking. All right, the first step is to clean the work surface, which I've done. And then I have some flour. I'm just gonna lightly dust the counter a little bit so we can knead this into a ball. So this sourdough recipe, you actually don't have to knead the bread very much. Um, so it's just kind of like a quick get it together, roll it into a ball, and then put it on a piece of parchment paper which has been lightly sprayed with oil, and then put it in the Dutch oven. Now we just let it rise. So to be honest, I've never baked bread at high altitude before, and I think we're currently at like 9,000 feet. So from what I've read, the difference is that the dough rises a little bit quicker and it's recommended to cook it at a slightly higher temperature. So we'll try that and see how it works out. You're supposed to cover the dough with plastic wrap, but we don't have any in our van. So I'm just using the glass lid and I'm actually gonna set it over on the dash, I think. So maybe it can get a little bit of sun and help it rise a little bit quicker. Rob is currently skiing, so it would be ideal if I could have the bread baked by the time we have to leave the mountain. It takes a few hours to rise. I usually, when I have a full-size oven, put the pan in the oven with the dough to rise with some boiling water underneath it, just so the steam helps it rise a little faster. Our oven is not that large. Say hi to Rob. He just got back from skiing, but I'm not done with the bread yet. So it's been about three hours. It's risen quite nicely. I floured the top just lightly. And then I'm just gonna cut a little slit across the center and then bake it. It's not the best slicing of the dough I've ever done in my life, but I think it will be okay. I'm gonna put the lid back on, put it in the oven and bake it. I'm reading. <laughs> Rub's tired now. So I forgot to mention, when I put the bread in, I put it in a cold oven. I don't let it preheat at all, and you start the timer as soon as you put the bread in the oven and turn the oven on. So it's been half an hour cooking at 450. I'm gonna take the lid off it and let it cook another like 20 minutes or so. When the timer goes off, we got a nice brown crust, and we take the temperature of the bread. 
It should be about 208, and it's not there yet. So I guess it's gonna go back in. I think we have a bread knife in here, maybe. Do you cut it with the grain or across the grain? Across. It's very crusty. Mm, it's pretty good. Do you want some? It's still warm. It's so good. It's like perfect. The garlic is subtle. But it's there. Yep. Now that we have the bread made, somebody wants a sandwich. Who do you think it is? Loki says he wants one too. Right in here. So we're gonna make a grilled cheese with some Gruyere and with like some raspberry ale, something, and some bacon pepper dip. Thanks to Amy and Nate. This is so good.